Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2, A Game of Thrones. You are looking at the Clash of Kings bookmark. You are here with me, the Golden Joblivion, and we are going to start a new series. And this one will be about the most popular character in Game of Thrones all together. Joffrey. <laughs> So, somebody uh, a long time ago, I'm pretty sure a month or two ago, uh, said I should play as Joffrey. And I agreed. I said, I was like, yeah, I, I definitely want to. But the thing is, is that I've played as Joffrey before, and his scenario is hard. His scenario is difficult because he starts off super young and in a regency. And if you've ever been in a regency for Game of Thrones or Crusader Kings 2, it is awful. Because, essentially, the world happens around you, and you you don't really have many options to do anything. And Joffrey is in a regency here in King's Landing, this little spot right here. And he is currently at war with two people who want to see him dead. Um, King Rob, uh, the young wolf, because uh, uh, Joffrey decided to behead his father, King, uh, King Lord Paramount Eddard. And uh, Stannis Baratheon, who believes that Joffrey is actually a bastard born of incest between his mother and his uncle. Um, whether or not that's true doesn't really matter to me because I want to see if I can survive as Joffrey, pretty much. Um, he doesn't have many armies. He has some, but, but, but not many. And he relies heavily on Tywin Lannister to win the war for him. And, uh, well, also, uh, what is his name? Mace Terrell? Yes, the Lord Paramount of the Reach. Um, uh, well, you'll, you'll, you'll see why. Well, you probably can already imagine why, because Joffrey ends up married to Marjorie Terrell. And when you do that, you get all the Terrell armies, which you desperately need if you want any chance of defeating Stannis Baratheon and, uh, uh, uh King Rob. The problem that we're gonna have here... Well, you know what? Let's just start, and I'll, and I'll explain to you what's going to be the issue. Yeah, uh, yeah, my rules. Yep, got to do all that. Awesome. All right, so right from the get-go. Ah, here we go. All right, come on. I'm King Joffrey of House Lannister. I should also have the Baratheon bloodline. I should, technically. Joffrey Lannister declared that my brother Robert left no trueborn issue of his body and that you and your siblings are abominations of incest between Queen Cersei Lannister and Sir Jaime the Kingslayer. By right of birth and blood, I do lay claim to the Iron Throne and hence declare war. Yes. Usurper. I, King Joffrey of the House Baratheon, first of my name, rightful lord of the Seven Kingdoms, hereby declare my uncle, my uncles, Stannis and Renly, along with the Starks of Winterfell, to be traitors and enemies of the crown. Any man... Any other man daring to challenge my noble ascendancy and right to rule the Seven Kingdoms will also be attained and his head mounted atop the gates of King's Landing. Bring me their heads now. Yes, indeed. Oh, what is this? I had some skirmishes already breaking out. That's crazy. All right, let's take a look at the political map. All right, so the Iron Throne is in complete chaos now. Civil War breaking out once again. The Westerlands are going to be our allies, and I hope to marry Marjorie Tyrell to add the Tyrell armies to uh, that alliance. And this is generally all the territory as uh, Joffrey that I control, and I'm 13. Oh shit. I mean, if he can, uh, if he can survive to, to the age of 16, that'd be a goddamn miracle. So what's likely going to happen is Stannis is going to go straight for King's Landing. You know, Battle of Blackwater and all that stuff. If Tywin doesn't show up with the Tyrell forces, Joffrey might be screwed. And that will be an end, that would be a very quick end to this series, which I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't know how long this is going to, if we're even going to survive this, but I would love to see if I can pull out some kind of crazy victory and uh, rule Westeros as the very cruel uh, King Joffrey. So Stannis is going to be coming straight for King's Landing. Rob Stark is going to be coming down from the north, and he's going to have a lot of men. Because he's rallied the Riverlands and the North. Goddamn. If, uh, you know what? I would love it if we could get, uh... Let's see, Lady Lysa is widowed. Because her husband, John Aaron, is gone. I would love it if we could get Lady Lysa. Or hell, maybe even Lord Paramount Robert on our side. Ooh, that's not good. Who's his heir? Harold Aaron? 
Interesting. So, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Well, I want I kind of want to get the timer going from the get-go just so that I can see what events occur. Now, King Joffrey. King Joffrey's not a uh he's not really a warrior. He's not really a warrior. Um You know what? And this might sound kind of counterintuitive, but if we can God, do we want to continue being a terrible character? He's already a damn torturer. Shit. Um, uh, we might have to just go with intrigue. He might be he might be beyond redemption. Uh, Prince Tommen, if we can make him into a diplomatic character, that'd be awesome. Let's see. If we make him, if he gets affectionate, he could turn into kind, which is really really good. Con content, which is not so good. Trusting or family person, or he can get humble, shy, or craven. If we pick etiquette, charitable, slothful, or gluttonous. Gregarious, deceitful, lunatic. Yeah, a lot of these are really bad. Let's see. You get patient, greedy, paranoid. Learning. We can't pick heritage, but we can pick this. He's already an idolizer. Damn it. Mmm. A lot of these aren't that great. You know what? Maybe we should pick humility. If not, set the child's upbringing will be more randomly selected. Now, let's pick humility. So I think Joffrey might die, and if he does, I'd like Tommen to be decent. Then we've got Princess Marcella, who is really good. So let's pick let's pick humility as well. I'd like them to be a more diplomatic group of children. What about this guy? Edric Storm. Delena Florent. He's a bastard, isn't he? He's okay. Well, we can't do anything with him right now. Alright, Idol Council members. Uh Let's see. Yes, we'll pick Commander Braun to lead the tr uh, to train the troops. I should say. Well, I've uh, actually, you know what? Lord Peter. Do we want to keep him in the throne, or do we want to marry him off to somebody? I'm not sure. Varys doesn't really like me, but uh, we'll have to deal with that. Deal with that later. All right. Turn the timer on. Kick that up. Okay. Here we go. The vassals of the Iron Throne now view you with respect, as they should. The Rose and the Lion, Renly Baratheon, has died. And now his brother and would-be usurper Stannis stands against the Iron Throne in House Lannister. Marjorie Tyrell was Renly's queen, and her family would still desire a royal alliance. It seems Peter Baelish has managed to negotiate an agreement with them. We need only wed our houses together, and the might of the wealth of the Reach shall be with us, which would surely lead to the crushing of Stannis and the Starks both. Yes, this will sway the war. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it would be. No, Sansa's my true love. Now nah, we will, we will pick Marjorie Terrell. Excellent. Uh, long live the king. Super. You know, if 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 Joffrey didn't have the torture trait, I would actually try to make him more diplomatic because I don't think he's a lost cause yet. Hmm. Let's let's try, let's try it. Let's try to make him a bit more diplomatic. Maybe there'll be some some hope for him yet. All right, let's pick our minor titles. I'm gonna make uh, whoever you are as my jester keeper of the swans. Ah, damn it. All right, whatever. Auto assign commanders. High almoner. Cupbearer has to be somebody real lo really loyal to me. Paramount Knight, King's Justice, one more Commander, Council, we can put a Priest, well, we're going to have to find a Priest first. Okay, apparently Pycelle and Peter are discontent. Bastards. Alright, what about this? We have idle people. Um, do we want you? I would actually like Marjorie to be my diplomat. And I would like her to improve diplomatic relations with who? How about the Vale? We'll send Marjorie to the Vale, and she can improve my standing there, hopefully. Then can we arrange in a betrothal between you and my sister? Ooh! If we pull this off... 
and we get Lord Paramount Robert to like us enough. No, he won't accept that. But you know what? That's fine. We'll send Marcella there. And we'll marry her to Lord Robert. And maybe, just maybe, we can get the Vale to join us. Yeah, that would be great. So then it would be the Reach, the Westerlands, and the Vale versus the North. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. What is this? Special title action set crown focus. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, special character actions. Ransom all prisoners. Who are my prisoners? Jane Poole, Horace, Redwine, and Hobber. I, I don't actually know who these people are. If I release your children... Are they is uh, are the red wines in rebellion? I don't think they are. Let's be nice. I can't just release them. Needs to be approved by the council. Well, great. That's great. Thanks, council. Uh, special title actions. We could just ransom them too. Yeah, let's try to ransom them. You can press ducal claims. I'm not gonna do that. And we need a septon. Kind of not uh, important to me right at the at this very moment. Alright, where is Stannis? He's leading troops in Storm's End, so he's down here. King Rob is leading troops in River Run. He is here. Maybe I could send... No, I can't send anybody over there. Alright, never mind. Never mind, we'll pass on that. We'll pass on that. Um, and the Brotherhood Without Banners. I'm not really concerned about the Brotherhood because the Brotherhood doesn't conquer and take... King's Landing. So I'm wondering if I should even raise my armies to begin with because I have 10k. I have 10k. Tywin Lannister has 32k. Mace has 30k. So that's 62 altogether plus my 10 it would be 10 would be a lot. It'd be a lot. It'd be like 70, 80,000. Um, King Rob has got somehow got 80,000 troops. 70,000. Oops. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Why does he have so many soldiers? The problem is, is that if I raise my armies and they get crushed, we won't have anybody here. Because if I keep my forces disbanded, they stay in their homes, and then the enemy has to come in and take them. So, for example, here in King's Landing, they would have to have at least 10,000 troops on top of King's Landing, which would make it easier for them. It would make it harder for them to siege us, and it, it gives an increased risk of attrition for them. Um, I am actually going to rush defenses. And I'm actually not going to raise my forces because I like money. Let's see. I want to ask him for the dowry. Yes. Give us money. Has sent the customary amount of gold and silver. A hundred. Awesome. To the Honorable King Joffrey. He hates us, though. Suspected bastard demands vengeance. Why? Why, you son of a bitch? I should have looked at his disposition first. Why? Arranged betrothal. Maybe not arranged betrothal. Maybe arranged marriage? No. Uh-oh. Mmm, not good. Why does he demand vengeance? I don't understand that. Does she demand vengeance as well? Is it because we had John Aaron killed? That could be the case. Hmm. Well that's a that's a that's a very dreadful turn of events. Ugh. Not looking good there. We could also march our armies south. Oh shit, what is that? Is that he's leading troops in Night Song? Is that Night Song? That's not Night Song. Where is Night Song? That's down here. We're already winning because Battle of Bitter Bridge. The attacker controls all our holdings. So are we attacking them or are they attacking us? I don't know. But they're winning regardless. Hmm. We might have to conquer something. Uh-oh. We got troops sitting outside King's Landing. That's not good. Repay a loan? I'm not going to repay a loan. What loans do I have? That's crazy. Ransom. Let's see. Raiders under... Up, 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 up. 
A Dowager Queen Cersei, using her powers, has decided to remove Lord Tyrion from his position on the Council. Ah, oh, great. Uh, it seems, uh, it seems Cersei's doing what she does best. Have to find somebody else. Um, improved defenses, garrison size goes up, fort level goes up. I like that. Improve holding. Now, let's do this. Improve the holding. Uh, train troops. Let's see, oversee construction. Build time would be a lot faster. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. This is definitely going to be decided outside of King's Landing here. Definitely. Is there anything else I can... We're building basic defenses, aren't we? Yes. Get the defenses ready! Forts can be built in any county you control as well as in hostile... Okay. To the Honorable... Okay, he's going to pay for the ransom. The wall's under attack. I'm sure they can handle some snarks. Let's not build a fort. Who's this? Oh, no. How many troops is our landing? Let's see. 90 ships can carry 9,000 men. It might not be 9,000, but it could also be 9,000. And we have a very large army coming from the south. You know what we could do? No, we can't. Because for some reason... I lost a ton on my levies for some reason. Why is that? Why did I had 5,000 levies in King's Landing and now they're gone. That's not good. Where did they go? Well, what we could do is we could raise our levies. They'll come out, they'll see, they'll sally out of the castle and they'll attack this force here that's at half half strength. It says they've got 4,000 men, but it, it, it doesn't look like they do. I mean, we could try it. It could be disastrous, but we could try it. Let's do it. All right, so we sally out, and we attack their armies at half strength. There's Prince Salador's pirate Lord Salador, Captain Roland of the Hedge Knights, being led by Lord Allen of Cracklaw. Come on, there we go, come on. Oh, come on. Let's go, nope, Allen, Allen, you fool! Your King's Guard, Lord Jamie Lannister, was beheaded on the order of King Rob. A replacement must be selected. Ooh. Where is, um... Where is Sansa Stark? Where is Sansa Stark? Because normally in this case, we'd say, Alright, he's gonna do that, then we're gonna behead his uh, sister. Where is she? At court in the Red Keep, she's being educated by Grand Maester Pycelle. I don't trust I don't trust him though. So I'm going to send her under the protection of my mother. All right. And we need a new member of the King's Guard, and I will name Sandor Clegane. Which surely that won't be a mistake. A vacancy has become available. I see. Uh yeah, I'm this is kind of bad. Kinda bad now. Why is he wearing a crown? Why is my th <laughs> he's wearing a fucking crown? And uh, unfortunately, uh, they're they're gonna show up in a week's time. This army's gonna show up, and if they don't end this battle now, there we go. End the battle. End the battle. Belos is captured. Great. Disband right now. Oh shit. Whoo, that was close. That was fucking close. That was like two days away. They finished the battle two days before an army of 12,000 showed up. Ah, oh, damn. Ransom all prisoners. I thought we, uh, I thought we already tried that. All right, we'll just do that again. Advisor, I need a good advisor. Whoo, so got a little bit of early skirmishes off there. That was risky as all hell. And now they're sieging. But you see, now, if they had showed up just two, maybe three days earlier, they would have taken out 3,000 men. But now they have to siege the Red Keep. And I can only hope, I can only hope that, uh, mmm. Mmm. Shit. Your grace, an enemy host approaches intent on encircling the castle. What shall we do? Well, the last time I was given this option, I chose to hold the castle with Daenerys Targaryen. D 
Daenerys Stormborn, and she was captured. <laughs> um, let's see. I will take my family into hiding. We will lose 50 gold, which is fine. We have more than enough gold, which is great. We're not bankrupt this time. But if we go into hiding, we will get minus 5 diplomacy, minus 5 vassal opinion. Uh, okay, so that's, that's kind of bad. This castle is impregnable. We will be safest here. I am not convinced we will actually be safe, but if we go into hiding, they can take the capital and they won't capture us. Now let's look at our surroundings. Uh, I'm curious, are the Greyjoys attacking the Starks? Oh my god, they are. An Ironborn invasion of the north. Sweet, that's okay, so that's, that's kind of good. That's kind of good for us. Let's see. It seems the Reach is still diddling about in the Reach. They're trying to... Maybe they're trying to... I don't know, defeat these little rebellions here. Where the fuck is Tywin? Where is Tywin? Leading troops in Harpshire. He's here. Okay, um, let's go into hiding. We'll lose some gold, we'll go into hiding. Alright, Marjorie, you'll be the regent. She's still in the, in the Vale, right? Yes. Alright. Well, we're in hiding now, so if they do take if they do take the Red Keep, they cannot kill us. At least, in theory. Okay. Your Grace, I will honor my legions and take up arms. Uh, thanks. I'd say let's wait till we get up to 200 gold again, and then we might come out of hiding. Because I would like my people to like me a little bit. Maybe... Right, so I just, I just don't want to risk coming out of hiding yet because we might not get the chance to go back into hiding anytime soon. Two people eloped, got married without anyone's consent except their own, and it falls to me as their liege to either accept the marriage or do something about it. Order them sieged. Order, order them sieged? <laughs> I don't know. What is with my speaking today? Let's see. It appears... Dowager Queen Cersei has eloped with Sir Lancel Lannister and have gotten married. And she wants to tame a dragon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sure. You know what? Do I want them imprisoned? Uh, do I want them imprisoned? I don't know. My, my mother is one of the few people that actually likes me. You know, let's just accept their marriage. I don't, I don't really care. Not a big deal. I'm not seeing any forces from the north. Interesting. Well, you know, if the Reach and the Westerlands could get their shit together and destroy Stannis here, I'd be very willing to raise my levies and just conquer something like Shoreham. Because then that would remove Rob Stark's little... This little bonus here. Bandits have raided their camps. Come on, you clowns! Fight! Why are you attacking them? Attack this the, this group here! There we go. That's what I want to see. N that's not what I want to see. I want to see both of you attacking. Oh, shit. My courtier has asked for permission to be married. No. And they're losing. And they're losing. You're lo God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Is King Joffrey going to have to have to win this war for you guys? That's ridiculous. You just threw away so many men. Let's see. He's expressed a uh, Sir Dantos Hollard has expressed a desire to get married. I will find him somebody nice. Yes, I will. 44-year-old Makara. There you go. <laughs> oh man. They're sending the vast majority of their forces against the Brotherhood without banners. Great. Fucking great. The Magnificent King, yes. You see, this is kind of the hard, this is the hard part about this this uh, goddamn scenario is so much of it is outside your control, and the more you try to do something, Lord Allen of Crackclaw, replace Queen Marjorie and become Regent. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna auto stop plots. No more plots for you guys. Um, establish a household guard. Let's not do that. Uh, I, didn't you guys just crush them? Yeah, the Brotherhood of Banners just got completely crushed, and now they're not. 
All right, whatever. Weak claims can be pressed. I will. What do you mean weak? What do you mean I can press that claim? Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna declare war on on Tywin. That's that's insanity. Not gonna do that. I'd love it if you guys could actually win this fight. Oh uh, shit. Okay. That's okay. That's better. That's better-ish. All right, that's better-ish. I'll take it. And in fact, I'm gonna raise my own army here. God, they still have 13,000 men. Jesus. Jeezy crazy. All right, come on. It's only 400 men. It's only 400. The dishonorable Lord Gunther Sunglass. Who's he imprisoned by? Lord Paramount Stannis has failed to call up arms and has sided with the rebels. He and his treacherous band of 120 men. Uh, okay. That, yeah, that battle looked really one-sided there for a second. And this guy has rebelled too. Of course they have. All right, Lord Allen. God damn, Lord Allen. I really don't like the way Lord Allen fights his battles because he is a very, uh... It's almost like he likes toying with the enemy. He likes to make the enemy think that they're going to win before crushing them. <laughs> I saw the giant here, and I was like, yes, invite the giant. <laughs> Surely the giant would fight for Joffrey. All right, I want you to join my court. Oh, no, no, no. Join my court. Walder, join my court. Join my court, please. I just would like better commanders is all. Bandits working here. All right. Um, wait a minute. Where's that army? Oh, great. Awesome. Where are the enemy forces going now? Chidering Brook. We'll arrive in Stokeworth. Stokeworth. Arrive in Stokeworth. Great. How many are? How many troops do we have? Three thousand. Uh, let's wait. Let's wait a little bit longer. They're going to arrive on the 29th of December. Sansa Stark is currently under my control, and her relative King or King Rob Stark is currently opposing us. We can rightfully execute or imprison her as a warning to our enemies. I normally never do this, but I'm actually going to kill uh, Sansa because she's no use to me right now. I can't make use of her. And, and Rob Stark done fucked up by having uh, Joffrey's dad beheaded. Which I guess is kind of befitting, you know, he, Joffrey took Rob's dad's head and then, right, but, you know, it doesn't matter, we're gonna kill her. Let's see, she will be beheaded, she'll be hanged, I want her crushed to death, that's kind of brutal. Um, put her in the bear pit, feed her to lions, uh, I would do that if I was playing as, like, hardcore Lannisters, but I'm not right now, so let's, let's see. Impale her slowly? Jesus. Breaker on the wheel. These are some really creative and terrible ways of uh, execution. Uh, um, I don't really want to impale her, but Joffrey would. Ugh. Ooh, I, this is a big conundrum for me. Let's just behead her. Let's just behead her. Just a beheading. There we go. Just a simple beheading. It says I've got 31,000 men. Ah. All right. So, wait, are you guys... Oh, no, you're coming to King's Landing, too? Yeah, you can't be coming to King's Landing. You can't be coming to King's Landing. Let's go to Stokeworth right now, because we have so many soldiers. Then we can destroy this force here. I'm guessing uh, the Westerlands and the Reach were just waiting for me to lead my armies so that they can follow. That's fine. That is that is A-OK. -okay. So we're going to attack here. You guys are not going to follow. That is that is A-OK. -okay. They're going to attack Windwater. Awesome. Sir John Connington wants to get married. You can marry as you please, sir, because you've uh, given good service to the crown. Sir Bruce Buckler has been captured. And... Let's see. You guys are going to attack here. And I'm actually going to follow. I'm going to follow you. And No, it's not going to be Alan. It's going to be Gouillard. Gouillard, are you married? 
<gasps> oh, shit. At age 58, your grandfather, Lord Paramount Taiwan of the Westlands, was killed in personal combat. Damn. And uh, luckily, uh, Lord Paramount Tyrion the Imp has joined our war effort. That could be disastrous for us. Um, but we need to keep up the pressure. We need to keep up the pressure, and we need to crush them. Come on. We need to destroy Stannis, break Stannis. Where are they going to go? Where are they going to go? Enemies going to Adadale. Let's see. 3,000 are going to Adadale. Let's see. The army of Sir Forlay is also going there. So I think he's going to pursue and destroy them, which is what I'm going to move this army here. I'm going to crush this force then. We're going to turn back north. Your grace, I will honor my obligations. Excellent. Good on you, buddy. My courtier, Moro Slint, wants to marry. I will find him somebody nice. And we will pick... Uh, let's pick somebody really old. Because I feel like being an asshole. All right. Well, oh, very nice. Okay, well, I'm all out of time. I've been having so much fun with this scenario. I'm well above my time. And so far, we are doing a lot better than I've done in previous games with King Joffrey. We are at 50% with our war against Stannis. We are breaking him. We didn't break him in a decisive bas battle in King's Landing, but there were... Uh, our first fight with him, he won, but then the second, we won, and then the third, we won, and now we've got his forces on the run. And so he's 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 gotten his butt kicked. The the band of brothers have been all but destroyed. So I can probably give them the option to surrender here. Either well, we'll probably do it next time. Uh, all we have to do now is uh, get this army north and take well, really any territory because it seems King King Rob's entire war score is based exclusively off of just because just just us not attacking him. Because for some reason, we have to attack him even though he's declaring independence. That kind of baffles me. But I think there's a good chance we can win this, guys. Guys and gals. But that will have to take place in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, be sure to leave any tactic strategies down in the comments below. This has been Crusader Kings 2, a Game of Thrones, the Clash of Kings. I have been the oh-so-golden Joblivian, and until next time, see you all later.